What's going on, everybody? You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was some crazy stuff that went down last night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but God good, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just want to tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? God bless you. God bless each and every one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody that see this live, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know that I've been praying for all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, again, it's not a sin to celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? It's a time of people getting together with their family, being grateful, being thankful of what the Lord doing in everybody's life. You know what I'm saying? God bless each and every one of y'all. Merry Christmas to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Christmas is a time of just joy. But, you know, we always remember the real reason for the season. You know, it ain't about, it's not about Santa. It's not about the elves. It's not about uh, the sleigh, the reindeer, Rudolph, the red nose rain. Like, it ain't about none of that. It's about Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? It's about Jesus of Nazareth, how he died for our sins. You know what I'm saying? The best gift that you can give anybody is the gift of eternal salvation. The best gift you can give anybody is telling somebody what Jesus did on the cross. You know what I'm saying? The best the best gift that you can give anybody is the gift of eternal life. You know what I'm saying? That's the best gift you can give anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's about the Lord Jesus Christ and about what he did on the cross. About how he came. He was the only begotten son of God. Said John 3.16. Says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? That Jeremiah verse is talking about wooden idols with mouths. It's not talking about a Christmas tree. You know what I'm saying? This is the one day out the whole year. It's called Christ Mass Christmas. Christ Mass. It's the one day out the whole year that we can minister to people and tell people about the Lord. You got atheists. They celebrating Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? They unknowingly celebrating something that got Christ in it. And you know atheists, they're the most prideful people when they say, well, I'm an atheist. But guess what? They celebrating a holiday that got Christ in it. They don't even know it. And see, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? We all opening up gifts. Morgan. So again, you know what I'm saying? It's straight like this. Christmas is a time of, you know what I'm saying? Get together with your family. You feel me? Get together with your family. You know what I'm saying? You enjoy the holiday with your family. You feel me? You do it for the right reason, not the wrong reason. You celebrate the birth of the Lord. You know? Ain't nobody got time to be super religious, especially about a holiday. If it got something to do with the Lord, best believe I'm celebrating it. If it got something to do with the Lord, best believe I'm going to be a part of it. And guess what? Christmas? Let me tell you something. It's my favorite time of the year. And that's why the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. Because see, if Jesus came, see, let me tell you what he did. The gifts that we receive from him, we receive the Holy Ghost. We receive 
miracles, signs, wonders, the gift of deliverance, the gift of healing, the gift of being able to set folks free. But watch this. We also receive, you know what I'm saying? Because he blesses with these gifts. But guess what? He came to bless us. He came to be a gift for us. He came to be uh, the sacrificial lamb. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you something. Watch this too. This is what the Lord did. He came to be the gift of eternal salvation. So what he did, he died on the cross for us. You know what I'm saying? What's up? I was going to ask your gifts for your siblings and your mom. Yeah, I'm going to go out there and get them. He told me to wait to the end and get them. Okay. Um, but again, the Lord, he he gave us a gift. That's why I say it's better to, to give than receive. We received a gift of eternal salvation from Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, he blessed us with gifts, but the greatest gift he gave us was that he died on the cross. And now we get to go up to heaven with the Heavenly Father. See, all these gifts that he gave us. But the one most important was eternal salvation. So I'm going to tell you this right here. This message, if you ain't believing on the one and only Son of God, the one and only begotten Son of the Most High God for your salvation, guess what? Today is the day. Today is the day, today is the day to make a decision, to make a choice. Are you going to follow the Lord? Or as you ain't. Believe on the Son of God today. Believe on the Son of God. Jesus came. He died on the cross. He was bruised for our iniquities. He was wounded for our transgressions. Grace. Faith. Faith is the evidence of things that we can't see. It's the substance of things hoped for. And you know what? You know, if people got something to say in the comments, you know, let them talk. You know, it don't matter. I'm preaching. I'm focusing on the message. The message is, accept Jesus Christ right here in your heart. Accept the Lord in your heart. Because once you accept him, I promise you, you ain't going to turn back. You're going to have peace that surpasses all, all, all understanding. He the wonderful, mighty counselor. He the prince of peace. You know what I'm saying? He the lion of the tribe of Judah. He was the, 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 the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. You feel me? Slain before the foundations of the earth. He the El Shaddai. He is, he is Ra. He is Yah. He is the almighty El Roha. You know what I'm saying? See, God, God is the reason why we can celebrate. God is the reason. Let me tell you something. The whole reason for Christ's mass is because of Jesus. Because of what Jesus did on the cross. You know what I'm saying? God bless y'all in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing is, I, I, I'm blessed because I get to be a part of this, still alive. I'm blessed to see my family open their presence. You know what I'm saying? The gift of eternal salvation is a blessed thing. You know what I'm saying? And see, I'm just happy and I'm appreciative of what the Lord is doing in my life. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is the reason why I'm here. I'm going to continue to stand ten toes, down on, ten toes down on this gospel. And, and another thing, too, y'all shouldn't be bashing folks for celebrating Christmas. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about other people. Because, again, I'm not boasting. I'm just saying, though, I'm a prophet. I hear from the Lord 24-7. The Lord told me celebrating Christmas is okay because you celebrating Eternal salvation. You celebrating the birth of the Lord. And the problem is, when you bash for something that got Jesus in it, you actually pushing more people away from Christ than bringing them to you. That's why the Lord told me it's okay to celebrate Christmas. And I'm going to say it. That's thus say it the Lord. Because, see, I'm not afraid to say thus say it the Lord. Because I know who my God is and I know who the God is that I serve. Because I know the God that I serve has power and might. And I hear his voice. Because a stranger, no man follow his voice. But I know my I know my, my shepherd. I know his voice. Because I'm one of his sheep. So again, I leave y'all with this. God bless y'all in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I'm, 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 I'm glad that y'all here. I'm glad that y'all watching. I pray that y'all have a blessed Christmas. I pray that everybody be in good health. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm grateful y'all get to open up your gifts, be with your family. You know what I'm saying? Pray that y'all do that. You know what I'm saying? God bless y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to pray for y'all right quick. Father God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for everybody on him. It's funny. The Lord showed me. Uh, it's, it's actually funny what the Lord showed me. I see a Christmas tree. The Lord showed me. He gave me a vision of a Christmas tree. And I see, I see the star at the top. You know what I'm saying? The star represents the Lord. Because it's a scripture. The world hated Jesus first because he testified that they works as evil. Because the light when the shine on the darkness, that's when the demons get exposed. Christmas, it's about Jesus. This is the say the Lord. It's about Jesus. Not Santa, not Satan. It's about Jesus Christ. As long as you're making it about Jesus, you're in right standing with the Lord. Even like Christmas lights. That's cool. But again, like I said, when you start making it about Rudolph and uh, Santa and all that, that's when you turn it into a pagan. Pagan holiday. Lord said, use it. I see like a, a wrench in the spirit. Lord said, use it as a witness or two. So I'm going to just continue to pray. And hey, you know, I hear, I hear the Lord. He telling me, he said, let the Lord speak. Yeah. I see, I literally see people opening up gifts. I see people having a good time with their family. And the Lord keeps showing me the scripture. Don't let nobody condemn you for what you celebrate. And you know what you're celebrating. If it's okay with the Lord or not. Because it said, work, it said, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So what I leave y'all with is this. Continue to trust God, not man. Continue to put your faith in God, not man. Not anybody else. Don't let man tell you what to do. Let God tell you what to do. Let God be your witness. Because if God is for you, who can be against you? It said in the scripture, we should obey God rather than man. So... Again, what I leave y'all with is this. God bless y'all. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that y'all will be saved, sealed, sanctified with the Holy Ghost. I pray that y'all be blessed exceedingly abundantly. I pray that y'all would never lack a day in your life. I hear the Lord say, blessings is coming to the body. Blessings is coming to the body. I see angels of the Lord. And let me tell you, see, the Lord actually gave me the, you know, it's funny. The, the Lord actually showed me what the true image of Christmas is supposed to look like. It's not even a Christmas tree. I just had a vision of Mary and Joseph, and I seen baby Jesus in the manger. That's what the true image of Christmas should look like. It's not about a Christmas tree. It's about Jesus. But it's okay to put up a tree because Jeremiah, that verse in Jeremiah is talking about wooden idols. Not a Christmas tree. So the vision of the Lord gave me, I literally seen the animals. I seen, I seen baby Jesus, I seen Joseph, I seen Mary, and I seen the angels of the Lord, and I seen the star. Jesus of Nazareth is why this holiday is still here. Because it's the one holiday in the world that we can use to witness to everybody about Jesus. Think about it. You go down the neighborhood, you see the Christmas lights. They got the manger. They got Jesus. An atheist go down the neighborhood, and he see that. What you think it's going to do? You think he ain't going to get convicted? It's going to minister. Say, God, worship shall now return back unto him, boy. So I want y'all to receive that in your heart. If you're one of the people that's been struggling with condemnation, thinking you're going to go to hell for celebrating Christmas, guess what? You ain't finna go to hell for celebrating no Christmas. You better get that out your heart right now and receive the word of the Lord. Celebrate your Christmas time with your family and make it about Jesus Christ. So again, that's what I want to say to y'all. God bless y'all. Merry Christmas. Enjoy y'all day, man. Stay, stay, stay prayed up. God bless y'all in Jesus' name.